My greatest accomplishment would have to be, um, well, two of my favorite would have to be when I was a freshman coming in, uh, I was like blessed enough to, to be on varsity as a freshman and that doesn't happen often, especially at a 6A school. And just to know that I was like one of like a few just to be on varsity as a freshman was just so incredible and just, uh, just a blessing. And um, another thing, just after, uh, after my injury my sophomore year to my ankle, coming back my junior year, being able to uh, be rewarded the, the accolade of first team my district as a junior was just such a like just a relief and just a blessing just to know that my hard work is being recognized and uh, that uh, I'm on the right path to just go where I want to be at and which is a uh, college. Football has always been just a just like a thing that I've always done and it's always been a part of my life and uh, just growing up as a kid in Florida, I didn't know really much what to do and how to spend my time. So like football, like once I got introduced into football, I just like instantly just became my first love. And uh, it's just my my go-to whenever I'm having problems, whenever I just don't know what to do. It's always something that I could to go to and just uh, just feel at home with. Here in Texas, I don't live with my uh, my parents. My mom or dad, they both live back home in Miami. And uh, just like the, the, one of the main reasons why I do what I do is because of my mom and for my mom. And my dad, especially, and, uh, and I have a younger brother there who just needs someone to um, to look up to. So, like, I just want to just be an example, just all my family, all my cousins, just every anyone really who just needs just like someone to look up to. And I just try to be that person because I know, like, growing up myself, I didn't have anyone to look up to or who to be like. So, I wanted to be the person that I like. I felt I needed in my life. My ultimate achievement would have to be um, hopefully getting a full ride to college, four year uh, scholarship, just to pretty much uh, any college I want to, and just get my free education and just uh, better myself as a person and just learn from it. Uh, best advice would be I'd have to be this wristband right here. And I, it says uh, never give up and uh, never give in. And I just pretty much every time I'm tired or just like, just don't want to go anywhere. I just, whenever I'm bent over, looking down, I read it, and just like it just gives me an extra boost to keep going and keep fighting. And know that uh, that there's so much greater to happen as long as I keep busting my uh, my tail. I'm the varsity basis. I'm a junior here at Aikens, varsity football player number seven, and I play QB. Go Eagles! <laughs> My biggest accomplishment in sports so far is making the game-winning free throws against Hayes in the overtime. Crazy game that it was this year. It was just the, the crowd was high and just hitting those free throws and making the crowd go silent and my teammates jump. It was just like one of the best experiences I've ever had. It's just making the state playoffs, you know. It's just been a dream of mine since coming to high school, being a part of the Aikens basketball program and just having something so my mom could be proud of. The best advice I was given was by my mom too, and that was to stay positive and to never give up because I should just chase my dreams no matter what people say, no matter what people tell me I can and can't be. It's just, hey man, I do what I gotta do. Yeah. Uh, I'd say our, uh, our our greatest accomplishment this season was uh, probably beating Westlake. Yeah. What was the score? Uh, six six to four, I think. Six to four. We were for sure the underdogs in that. Yeah. Further my baseball career. Which is like going to college, it doesn't matter what school, it's any college, play baseball. I say uh, the best advice anyone ever gave me was from uh, Coach Riojas. And uh, he said, uh, without bad games, there would be no good games, they'd all just be games. That, uh, that was pretty helpful because I was going through, a, I wasn't doing too well during that time of the season. That really helped me. Uh, get through my rough patch. I've been uh, playing baseball since, uh, since I was probably three years old, as early as I could, since uh, the t-ball stage. Uh, everybody in my family has always played baseball, and uh, I guess it just stuck. 
It was the only thing to do, really. I also played baseball since I was three years old. Even before that, I've always been around the game because my two older brothers always go and traveling to baseball and stuff. So yeah, I started at a pretty early age. Uh, next year, we'll both be returning as uh, seniors to the varsity team. We have a much better chance of making playoffs next year in a, a whole new district. So uh, we'd love for you guys to come and check us out. My name is Christopher Castro. I'm a junior, and I'm on the Aikens varsity baseball team. My name is uh, Fernando Flores. Most of you know me as Nate. I'm uh, number 17. I play third base for the Varsity Eagles.